Good morning. I'm back. And this morning, y'all, we're going to give the Lord some praise because we woke up again this morning and we want to tell the Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for waking me up this morning. Thank you, Lord, for a good night's sleep last night. Lord, I just thank you for everything that I am going to go through on this day, the known and the unknown. So we're going to get right into it. I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to do. I'm going to fix a rib, okay? But this is going to be a special rib. I'm going to show y'all, which I, if you don't know, you know they have this fat lining right on the back of your rib. You take that and you peel it off. A lot of people, some people know and some people don't know. So this is for the ones that don't know, okay? So you want to pull that fat lining off that rib, okay? That's how you first clean your rib. You're going to throw it out and you're going to pull that fat lining off. You're going to clean whatever fat that's on the rib, okay? So you're going to get all that cleaned off. Clean all the little fat off of it. Going to get it all cleaned off, okay? And what I'm going to do is, before I wash it, this is what I'm doing because I'm going to show y'all something. I'm going to do two by two. I'm not going to do just one. I'm going to do two by two. So I'm going to cut the rib up, okay? Kids, do not cut up no rib. If you're going to try this at your house, don't do it without a parent if you're not old enough to use a knife, okay? You don't want nobody cutting themselves or doing no harm to themselves. And, yes, I have a lot of kids that's on my page, so I'm talking to the kids. The adults, you already know, you know. You should know how to cut up meat. But anyway, for the ones that don't, make sure you cut it on the meat side and not on the bone. Okay? Cut the meat, not the bone. So, I'm going to cut it up. I'm cutting it up. I'm cutting it up. I'm cutting it up. And then, make sure it's all good and cut up. Okay? So, that one did me seven pieces, okay? That's all I need. Because I'm finna rinse it off and then I'm gonna show y'all the process. So I'm gonna rinse off my meat. Okay. Rinsing it out. Cleaning that meat. Okay, so now I done cleaned my meat. Got my meat all pretty and clean. Yes, it's good and clean. Yes. And I have a, a, a little water in my pan, okay? So, I'm going to tell y'all a tip. Hold on. Let me get my seasoning together and show y'all my little seasoning process. I'm going to show y'all what I got on in my seasoning. Okay, so just hold on a minute. I'm coming. <coughs> <coughs> Ooh, that seasoning strong. <coughs> Get my stuff together, y'all. I'm coming. I should have did it before I uh, hook y'all up. Okay, but I'm going to give you, <coughs> give you the part to fit. That seasoning got me choking. <laughs> Ooh, that seasoning got me choking, y'all. <coughs> but anyway, y'all know this is the best seasoning on the market. Get you some garlic seasoning, okay? Do not, I'm going to give you a tip. Do not season your meat. In the sink. Don't do it. I'm going to tell you why. You don't season your meat in the sink. Because you is throwing away all your good seasoning, honey. 
You done throw away all the good seeds. You're like, why are you using so much seeds? I'm going to tell you. And then, you know, I always use my soy sauce. I just love soy sauce, okay? <laughs> it gives your food a good flavor, especially, you know, mm -hmm, when you're going to put it in the oven. And then I got <coughs> the pepper that's just seasoning that's just choking me to death. So I'm going to add my pepper. I'm like, why are you adding so much? It's not going to be so much because once I finish with everything, right? You see that? Once I finish, I'm going to add my water. And I'm going to preheat my oven. And I'm going to put it on 425. And I'm going uh, to preheat the oven, okay? And uh, I'm going to uh, add my water to it. You can add your onion, your bell peppers. You can do whatever you want to do to this. But my special thing I'm going to do to this is because after I finish with my smothered ribs, after I finish with this, I'm going to make a gravy while I'm baking it, okay? So, and then after, I'm going to come back and fry the rib. It's going to be gravy fried ribs, but that's going to be the next part of it. But right now, I'm going to show y'all. Get your flour out of there. I'm going to show y'all uh, how to do it. So, you see me wash. I added my seasoning. I got a little bit of water. And I added everything that I'm going to add. So, my special ingredient to this is... You see it in there? Did, uh, uh, let me get it. Hold on. Got to go in the pantry. Do I have any? I know I bought it, didn't it? Nope. I don't think so. I don't know about... Nope, I don't think I bought any. Oh. So I'm not going to be able to do it, huh? Yeah, that'll work. I have a little left, y'all. My special ingredient to my ribs in the oven is all-purpose flour. Okay? So I'm going to batter. I got to get some more. Girl, I thought I ain't have any. So I'm going to add this. All purpose flour. Okay. I don't know you did to me. In your bowl. So I added it, okay, to there. Alright. Now you mix it up. Now I'm just giving y'all my little special ingredient. Y'all got to try this. You'll never eat it another different way. Once you try it like this, honey, this going to be the best way. You'll never eat it another way. I'm here to tell you, honey. So you're going to mix that up. You're going to mix it all up and get all the juices. And you're going to, oh, yes, honey, look at that. It look like gravy already, don't it? These is, yes, honey, my gravy ribs. Yes, honey, I done made the great. Look at that. Look at that down home gravy. Yes. This one looks like a pork chop. Yes. A gravy, honey. Gravy ribs. Yes. You see that? Got that gravy on them ribs already. And it ain't even cooked, honey. Wow. Yes. This one looks like a pork chop. Uh-huh. Put it on there. And we're going to let it. Come on. Put my tender touches on the meat. You gotta put your tender touches on the meat. Yes, you gotta put the tender touches on the meat. Yeah, you gonna put the tender touches on the meat. You know, you got to caress it. You know, but anyway. So, I done made my gravy. Mixed it all in. Y'all see how pretty it is. Yes. And... You know, one day, I, you know, just decided I had did some 
to mother me like this. And I decided I'm just gonna do this. Look at that, look at that. Ah! <laughs> Not a dull moment in this house, son. Not a dull moment in this house. I don't know about nobody else's. I'm talking about this one. Yes, honey. So I'm going to add my, look. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to add my water. Clean all around my pan. Get my uh, seasoning off the side of the pan with the water. Cleaning my side of the pan with the water. And I'm going to show y'all. You're going to add the water. Okay? Till the halfway covers the meat. Not all the way covering. Just halfway covering your meat. Because after it gets <coughs> to a certain point, you want to flip it and turn it over. Okay? So. And always put the meat side down. Huh? Y'all heard that tip? Okay, now. Don't say I ain't tell you that. Always bone side up, meat side down. Okay? Y'all heard what I said, huh? That should be a tip right there. I'm not putting onion and bell peppers and I'm not going to put none of that seasoning in here right now. I'm not going to put that in here because after I cook the rib, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and I'm going to fry the rib. And I'm going to show y'all how to fry it. But uh, I'm going to Put the gravy on the ribs, let it soak and simmer into it, and then I'm going to come back and fry it. But I have a, uh, you know, I'm just sprinkling this on the top of the bone side. You don't have to do it. That's just something I do because, you know, I eat my food, honey, all the way to the bone. Okay? So, I'm going to add this. Always put foil paper or a top if you have a top. I don't do tops. I, I, I don't do tops in the oven. I just foil paper, okay? You know, some people want to be fancy and put a top on their food. Well, I have a Dollar Tree pan and I have Dollar Tree foil paper. It is what it is, honey. If you do something different, you do what you do. I'm doing what I do. It is what it is, honey. I mean, y'all know. So many people have uh, they reasons of doing this and reasons of doing that and say they're going to do this, say they do that. So whatever you do, do what you do. So I got my pan covered and I'm going to put it in the oven. Okay. And I don't put my meat, and this is me. You don't have to do it. I don't put my meat on the top shelf. I always put it in the middle, okay? I don't do the top shelf. I don't know why. I just never do it. I don't know. I think it cook your food too fast or something. I don't know. But anyway, I put mine on the middle shelf. And uh, so uh, I just did it. So that was, I'm going to go over it again, and I'm going to let y'all know what it is. It's your ribs. You cut them up however you want to cut it up, baby. It don't matter. Just cut your ribs up, okay? Clean your ribs. Then you want to season it with whatever seasoning. But Goya has good seasoning if you want to change the flavor of your food, okay? Uh, use some Goya. And uh, accent. And I didn't use accent, but I'm going to come back and put my accent on it. Um, and uh, so you do that. You season your meat. You cut it up. You're going to put it in the pan, okay? Fill it up with halfway of water. Always put meat side down, 
bone side up, okay? That's on your meat. And uh, you're going to put foil paper on it, put it in the oven, okay? Oh, put your flour on it, you know, batter it. You're going to, you know, play with it and mix it, mix that flour <clears throat> in with that seasoning, and you're going to get it to a thick base. And then you're going to add your water. But when it cook, it's going to come out. You ain't got to do nothing but just turn it over. That uh, flour is going to make a base in the oven. Okay, just like gravy. It's going to come out looking just like gravy when it's all said and done. And I'm going to come back and uh, I'm going to show y'all the end results of baking the uh, gravy steak. I mean, the gravy um, ribs. And then I'm going to show you uh, how I fry it in the fryer. And we're going to have fried gravy ribs. Okay? That's going to be on the next one. But I show sure enjoy y'all. Y'all got to go and tell a friend. Subscribe to that woman channel, honey. That woman got it going on. I tell you, baby... She doing it all over there. We do it all. You hear what I say? So I want you to uh, tell a friend to subscribe. I want you to like it. I want you to share it. And I also want you to comment. Because I talk back, honey. Yes, I do. You talk to me. And I talk to you. And y'all see my gown, what it says, huh? Yes, honey. Y'all see what it say? <laughs> no. I'm not lucky, baby. No, I'm not. What I am, I'm blessed. I am so blessed and highly favored. And I thank the Lord for everything that he has given me, the known and the unknown. And I say, Lord, whatever it was that you took from me, I want you to give it back better than what I lost. And the only thing you have to do is just believe in it, have just a must of must have seed of faith and it shall return in your favor and i want to say and i'm out Mwah! i love y'all thank you for coming to watch your girl once again love y'all bye bye beautifuls mm -hmm.